be the deep man standing in the end zone for Louisville as we're underway. It is Hassan Hall from the one yard line. It's across the 15. He has stood up and driven back. Not great field position. Coming off his best performance, looking for some consistency out of Puma. He's throw here on first down, rolling out to his right. Has a man downfield. It's Mickey Crum, the tight end, caught at the 41. Malik Rivera, one of their safeties. Ball's going to go up. you got to make some plays. A little thin in the secondary is Georgia Tech. Here's a big run for Hassan Hall, the true freshman speedster. It's the worst third down defense in the ACC. That run up the middle for Trey Smith, and he runs into a lot of traffic, and he's forced back. Cards two for seven on fourth down this year. Pass is going to throw. Wobbly ball down the middle of the field. It's incomplete, and Crum was the intended receiver, but you could tell he got spun around. And that is the B-back. Jordan Mason. You're going to see these Louisville defenders get cut a bunch tonight. It is Marshall on the key. Finds a seam. Finds a lane. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Well, that was a well-used timeout. Huh. A 33-yard run for Taquan Marshall and Georgia Tech. Well, really, it comes from that fourth down stop out of their defense. A couple nice option plays early on, and then Taquan Marshall. TC here tonight. Not to a good start. Hassan Hall to return this kick again for Louisville. Gets to the 20 this time, untouched to the 30, stumbles out to the 35-yard line. Shoulders, you mentioned the consistency. Do everything just a little bit better. Under the flat for Trey Smith. He is hit, gets out of a tackle. It's back to the original line of scrimmage. And then the ball came out. Georgia Tech says they have it. And they do. Charlie Thomas, short field again. And this is something this Georgia Tech defense does well, is force turnovers, cause them, and it, a big reason why is they try to accelerate through the football when they get there. Try to accelerate through it, and Charlie Thomas, a young kid for them that started at safety, they've dropped the turnovers in two short fields for Georgia Tech offensively. Yeah, a turnover on downs and then a fumble. Now to Quan Marshall on the pitch. Clinton Lynch. Georgia Tech trying to make the Cardinals pay on this second series. Taquan Marshall cuts it up again. Finds some running room and gets to the 10-yard line. It's going to be first down and goal to go for the Yellow Jackets. And that's Howard again. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. It's Taquan Marshall on the keep. His second touchdown. And the turnover. Again, comes back to Hunt Louisville. Line owning the line of scrimmage. This time it's really a, a version of a quarterback sneak, right? Just go a little bit sometimes. Need to get five yards to keep the drive alive. Pass throws, caught by Fitzpatrick. I don't think he got there. Cut down about a yard short. We're starting field position for Georgia Tech tonight. But it doesn't seem to matter. Look at that running room for Taquan Marshall. Rips off 14 on first down. 17 touchdowns last year. And I mentioned it, and this is going to be a theme all night. One guy, if you're wrong, one guy on defense, Kane Pass, kind of stretching the play out of the line of scrimmage. You make a decision. He's doing a fantastic job so far this evening. Late pitch. Good decision, Cersei. A lot of room, and he gets to the 21-yard line. Quay Searcy, Georgia Tech first down. Okay, there's, a little, there's a little beauty to watching this option kind of unfold. And Searcy's a guy as a A-back on the perimeter is so dynamic. Taquan Marshall putting on a clinic right now, threatening guys. This stinks. We didn't expect rain. It's humid here tonight, but the forecast looked pretty good. So it's starting to rain now. That's potentially a problem for this option offense. Yellow Jackets, this is what they do. They are good at possessing the football. Touchdown, Jordan Mason. His fourth rushing touchdown of the year, and it is all Georgia Tech here in Louisville tonight. The ground, this triple option has been hard 
to handle for this Louisville defense. Let's just watch the left guard, Parker Braun, fire off the ball. And you talk about creating space. I mean, he's moving his defender two, three yards in the end zone. He's a guy that you were, hey, why did you go to Georgia Tech? And he said, I don't want to play in a spread. Ending it over the winter, spent uh, some time on it during the spring, but it is so hard to replicate in practice. We're seeing the speed of Georgia Tech's offense really wear down these Cardinals. Making some better calls on third down, he said. Here comes his own blitz. Pressure coming. Pass able to get it downfield and complete it to his best receiver, Jalen Smith. Fell wide up. We'll move the chains here for the Cards. Jalen Smith's fantastic at the top of routes. I just love Puma Pass realizing, okay, I've got a zone pressure. You can see him see it, pick to the right situation. This is where Louisville needs to live. Second and three. That's a first down. Hall gets inside the 30-yard line. Some spark finally. Well, this is what completions on first down will do to you. Georgia Tech decides to blitz off the right side of the offense. So after they looked at it, they're going to say that 2-2 Atwell actually had three more yards. They marked him down at the 23, a difference of three yards to the good for Louisville. But then Brandon Adams hands out for Georgia Tech, the junior nose tackle, first tackle for loss tonight. See if Puma understands what's going on post-snap. One of the keys tonight, Tony Woody was get to the quarterback. They've done a pretty good job of that, making Puma uncomfortable. As I say that, he hits the receiver in stride. It's Atwell for the touchdown. 2-2 Two -two Atwell. First career touchdown grab. 29-yard strike from pass, and Louisville is on the board. He gets his zone blitz, and it's kind of a three deep, but cloud underneath. And been that great, but believe me, we're going to get it done again. That's Lynch, and he'll pick his way and get the first down. Surrounding Paul Johnson. And this is Jerry Howard, another first down run for the Yellow Jackets. That's on Jerry Howard. He's the fake man. Big run again for Taquan Marshall. 30. Everybody on this defense for Louisville getting stressed. Taquan Marshall making the right decision again as Dorian Etheridge tried to go down the line of scrimmage and make it. Or just about every time within a yard or two. Marshall drops back and dumped at the 25. Robert Hicks again. It's just an example of doing your job. Amante Caban kind of out on the edge, triggers, reads his keys, unblocked and that is a huge stop now the walk-on true freshman kicker wesley wells will come on to attempt a 41-yard field goal this will be his first career field goal attempt bingo virginia tech have another great game similar to last week's this puma pass he threw a touchdown on his last series completes this throw out across the 40 to 2-2 two -two Atwell. And, and good positive play for Louisville, but golly, this ball gets out in front of 2-2 two -two Atwell. It is a chunk. Redshirt freshman from Montgomery, Alabama. And he's going to run it. Cuts it up on the near side, and he gets to the sideline inside the 40-yard line before he's knocked out of bounds. Cunningham ran for 129 against Western Kentucky after Puma struggled. And got the start against Virginia. That pass by Puma is complete at the 27. Other guys on your defense have to replace, and it takes a lot of communication and reps to really master it. Puma pass is able to escape in the backfield and work ahead to pick up the first down on this defensive unit, especially up front. All seniors starting on the defensive line. Trey Smith. Has the first down and a few yards more. First down, goal to go to the five-yard line, Trey Smith. For the Louisville offense, Georgia Tech just plays everybody on defense besides the three defensive line. Louisville pops a run, and there's not enough defenders there. Well played the drive. Smith, touchdown, Cardinals. Now, Louisville 
Bowl has climbed back into this football game. Really, the drive is Puma pass, and then they finish off with Trey Smith. Beautiful cut. Charlie T is called for a personal foul. This is replay. Michigan shoving after the extra point, and it's going to cost the Cardinals 15 yards on the kickoff of strong safety. Marshall spins. Turns it up field, good run, first down out to midfield. The Georgia Tech quarterback. He'll pitch it out near side. Nathan Cottrell. Good run, and that's another first down to the 40-yard line of Louisville. The pitch. Lynch. First down, and he gets to the 25, the 24-yard line. Got to be so versatile. Quas Cersei showing off his ability to block. Now here's Marshall looking to throw. Still looking to the sideline. It's caught. Brad Stewart. And the first completion for the Yellow Jackets. Only the ninth, but that leads the team. I'm really excited to talk about a pass right now. Stewart's one of their most trusted receivers. As they're perched at the 12-yard line. The pitch. Cottrell lowers his head and bangs his way inside the five. Your Bobby Petrino, you might think about calling a timeout and letting them breathe and talk it over. Cersei. Way Cersei just sashays into the end zone. Georgia Tech with an impressive scoring drive. And under three minutes to get it done, and they do it. The two-yard scoring drive in two minutes and 17 seconds. And you called it, Clay, and I continue to reference these A-back players for Georgia Tech that have to be so versatile. Clinton Lynch, their 1K, 1K guy. Not only can he catch and not only can he run, but he makes the block on the perimeter. And that's what springs Quay Cersei untouched into the end zone. The versatility of these A-backs really slot receivers, essentially, in this Georgia Tech offense. Everything's in front of them, but good is no longer going to be okay for that Michigan program. See if Louisville can get something done in about a half minute. Trey Smith. Record of being a very good football coach, incredibly potent on offense. We've mentioned how young they are. That's part of it, no doubt. Nice catch by Devontae Pete. 46-yard attempt for Creaky. He has seven straight makes going back to last year. You bet. Plantfoot is what allows him to get that pitch out in perfect placement. It's almost like a quarterback throwing a ball downfield, right, Kurt? Absolutely. This kid's electric. He's a 10-8 meter champion in high school in the 100. Second down at four. This time it's Jordan Mason. He's going to be very close to a first down. Looks like he got him. Yep, they'll move the chains. Quan Marshall's gotten downhill a lot of times. That's forced his hand with some decision makings. It allows him to protect it just a little bit more. Here's Mason. Wow. To the 39-yard line. His eighth carry here tonight. They've all been pretty good. And it's the second time we're seeing this kind of play. It's that B-back dive, but they pull, again, the left guard, Parker Braun, with a quick trap. And so we're seeing all the options within this option. He is tipping the scales right around 400 pounds. A true freshman. Jordan Mason rips up another good run for the Yellow Jackets as we go down to cart. Seems like a time where you, you might want to sell out against the run here. Daquan Marshall dives to the 10-yard line. First down, goal to go, Jackets. They pitch it to Cersei. Cersei lunges into the end zone, and the Yellow Jackets score again. There are markers on the field. Flight came in late, I think. I think this is going to be a celebration penalty on Georgia Tech. The result of the play is a touchdown. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, number one of the offense. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the ensuing kickoff. We will have a try. Touchdown. Play, you that see this replay. Look at all the bodies up inside for Louisville, and I don't blame them. 
You've been hurt a little bit with these quick fullback dives. Jesus this Reese can uh, set another record on Monday night. He's remarkable. I mean, the accuracy, the ball placement. He actually was my host on a recruiting visit out to Purdue coming out of high school, and I just remember. Find some rhythm throughout the entire offense and throughout the entire team, and they got to start doing it quickly. Oh, ball comes out as I say that, and Georgia Tech has recovered. Turnover. And Charlie Thomas has his second fumble recovery of the night. And it's a true freshman taking advantage of getting some extra snaps. He's earned them, and he's proving his coach, Nate Woody and Paul Johnson, that's the right choice. Around the ball a bunch. And you kind of feel bad for Puma Pass because he's playing such a good game of football. Brandon Adams knocked it loose. Thomas recovers second turnover for Louisville here tonight. Now Jerry Howard on the run. Cooper, the junior center, preseason all-conference. He's back off injury, not healthy. Marshall. We're going to mark him down at about the half-yard line. It's a 17-yard pickup. Goal to go, Georgia Tech. I mean, just the push that this Georgia Tech offensive line is getting against Louisville. There's nothing on defense that you can do as a linebacker. We'll take this snap. And it will be Oliver with a thank you very much touchdown. That's his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. He has been terrific in limited playing time. Oh. Clay, you're scoring on this one. Watch 75 <laughs> Parker Braun and 56 Hanson. The push, instant, it's three or four. We'd really like to see them open a little bit up, right? Puma Pass has really had a solid night. Let him grow a little bit in this moment. Pass. Got touched. And he'll sprint out and fire it down the sideline complete. And I'll go back. Puma Pass has been impressive tonight with his decision making, his ability to throw the ball. This is a really big 17 minutes for him to continue his growth process and, and rebuild that confidence. Smith looking good, coming off his sixth career 100 yard receiving game. And that's another 15 yard game for Smith. Pass, looking to his right, and he's hit from behind. Able to hold on to the football as he's crunched by Henri St. Amour and Brandon Adams. Tech D, it's fourth down. St. Amour is a little bit of just an undersized edge rusher. Clay Matvick, Dan Orlovsky, Paul Carcaterra back here in Louisville as Georgia Tech starts the fourth quarter just like they have started every other quarter. Tobias Oliver with a big play. Boy, this rushing offense for Georgia Tech. He'll finally made the tackle, but it's a huge run of 65 yards. <laughs> I gotta imagine every coach in the ACC is like, wait, they got another one in the pipeline? Oliver came in last week and... So he comes in to Quan Marshall, nicked up a little bit earlier tonight. Jordan Mason on this run just, inside the just 10. Just let it go, just let it go. So first down goal to go Stay for Georgia me. Tech. Tobias Oliver, redshirt freshman. That's really something Georgia Tech struggled in. This is going to be, he lost about seven games in a row on the road. Oliver caps another scoring drive. Not tonight. Not going to happen tonight. That streak's going to end tonight. Next a bunch tonight. Quad Marshall and Tobias Oliver, but how about the offensive line for Georgia Tech and everybody playing their part? Defending the triple option, and he said that they did their due diligence. It's just you can't replicate the speed, and Georgia Tech has it down so well as Puma Pass throws incomplete under pressure. You know, Clay, you there mentioned no you can't foul, replicate the no speed. I spoke to Brian Van Gorder before the game on the field. Some short passing games, hitting some plays, and then they just fell behind, and you have to get out of the run game when you fall behind two, three scores. Third down at six. The 37 yard line, that misfires. Intended for Des Fitzpatrick. All tied to this incredible offense. Ford here on fourth down, and they should, and then spinning out of a tackle, that's Fitzpatrick. And he'll waltz into the end zone for a touchdown. Des Fitzpatrick spun right out of the arms of the defender and goes 43 yards for the touchdown. Puma pass. He's kept fighting and throwing the ball. It's just a stop route by Des Fitzpatrick. Good timing, 
ball thrown on that outside hip, and then he'd make something happen after that catch. And there, it's just a small example of this Louisville offense does have some weapons. Not much about it. <laughs> Logan Utah is a beautiful place. Out to the 41, that's Tobias Oliver. Texas has got some receivers, Humphrey and Johnson, that are legit, so that's going to be a challenge. What's the Clemson quarterback look like? What's the qu Clemson quarterback situation look like? Just a little bit trajectory off it, a little tempo off it, and like I said earlier, he's taken the, the reins of an offense that said, we want to be able to throw it a little bit better and utilize our weapons around us. Huge test Saturday night. Georgia Tech has a lot of weapons. This is Amari Jarrett getting his first touch of the night. Plus, if Georgia Tech didn't turn the football over, they executed such a high level, this was going to be at least close to the storyline of the game. Jerry Howard with his second rushing touchdown of the year. Your offensive lineman with those flat backs firing off the ball creating a new line of scrimmage. I don't Even love this. It. Not, not happy with this? Well, here's my thing. Puma pass, one, had a good night. Two, you're trying to get him some confidence, right? So let him finish this game. Well, Jordan Travis. Looking like Lamar Jackson getting out to the 41-yard line on that run. Confidence back. I mean, incredible play by Jordan Travis, and they're high on him, Clay. They yeah, really, they really like everything about his game. But in a way, when you make this choice... This, this red shirt rule is meant for moments like this. He's a pass attempt deep downfield. That's going to be passing under him. We really... A lot of contact down there, and that's... They go against Georgia Tech. Tyrell, Tyler Harrell, the intended receiver. Pass interference. Defense. Number three. 15-yard penalty. First down. Now, not playing good football team. I just would have loved to have seen him save some of the redshirt years for these young, talented future players. Travis is complete to Amani Spence. That's his first catch of the year. Something to be said for being a redshirt, sitting for the year, learning everything about college life college football, living away from home, everything like that, and not having the burden of playing football and trying to win games. Travis out at the 11. There's reason to be high on this kid. I just would have loved to have seen him sit and have the opportunity to throw. That's intercepted, and this will go back to the house. Wanye Thomas. Dropped an interception moments ago. This one he will catch and bring back. 81 yards. Third turnover tonight for the Cardinals. And the young true freshman just doesn't see him. Wanye Thomas inside the box and then he sees, you see him staring. Jordan Travis stares right where he wants to go with the football. Wanye Thomas is gonna listen. You're gonna tell me where you're throwing the ball, I'll listen. Steps right in front. For 7,000 yards in a game, I'd smile <laughs> too. Uh, not quite that many. Feels like it. And we got a couple minutes to go here in this blowout win for Georgia Tech. Quarterback having a really solid year. Miami's defense, Clay. Miami's defense is good enough to get that team to Charlotte. Everyone wrote, wrote them off week one, lost to Louisville. That defense is legit. Alabama's so great, and we kind of watch all the other teams and go, oh, they're not Alabama, so they're not good, but Georgia, very good. Ohio State, huge win last week we've touched on. Notre Dame. Like some Cunningham, I believe, for one play here tonight. Yeah, third down where they kind of ran a little option for me, got around the edge, nice play. All three quarterbacks have played then for the Cardinals. There's a reception by Harrell. And play well, that is going to be a headache of a week prep-wise. Travis to the end zone, caught by Atwell in double coverage. Nice catch by the freshman. Give the fans who are still here reason to cheer. He got roughed up on that end, but Travis just threw his first career touchdown pass. Took a shot on it too, Clay. That's a really good throw. I mean, that is a seam ball. Virginia Tech's going to get its first ACC win. They're one and two in the league. But a three and three overall.
Louisville falls to two and four, zero oh and three in the ACC. The first three-game losing streak since the end of 2016.